I'm going to show you the scallop trays that I use. It's the time of the year for them. Uh, they generally come autumn, beginning of spring. Being springtime now, the smaller scallop hammers are around, so I'm going to show you my preferred trays for catching the smaller scallop. Those are those ones that are anything from 5 to 10 kilos. This trace will be ideal for it. Okay, to start off with, what we require, 25 kilo nylon, <clears throat> sinker of your preference, could be a grapnel if you'd like. I like to use these um, solid rings. This is quite a big one. This is number seven and a size five. Okay, I'm going to show you why you use the two different sizes. Some sort of a bead, preferably a clear bead, but these little green soft beads work very well for your knot protection. Eight-o um, hook, these are the ring soys. They generally work the best, and the reason I use them is they are silver. They need to blend in with the color of the bait that I'm making. I'm going to be using chocker baits later on when I do my bait um, clinic part of it. Some white foam. Um, I don't particularly like using anything other than white for it because you're making white baits with it. Okay, start off with. This here is 65 or 90 pound um, surf line, 7x7. Seven seven. It's a lot softer, more flexible. And hammerheads as a whole are very, very shy feeders. They've got very, very small mouths. Hook size, like I say, I'm going to be using an 8 -o. It's quite a small 8 -o, this hook. And they're so sharp they're not coming out the packaging. Okay, two of them. To start off with, we're just going to do a figure of eight. So basically once, twice over your finger, take it around and through, open it up to form your figure of eight. There we go, there's your figure of eight. Put your two fingers in there. And then take your mouth or a pair of pliers, I'm just going to use a pair of pliers today, and you pull it until it gets reasonably tight. As you can see that knot, knot has now come together. We're now going to lubricate and slide down. Pull tight, as you can see. Cut off the tag end. Give yourself about 30 centimeters to work with. Second hook. And I'm going to snell this one. And because you're making very small baits, what we like to do is we just, just behind the eye of the hook is where the bend's going to be. So as a measurement, that's what I like to keep it. Going to go around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six and then back through the eye from the opposite side. In other words, from the top down towards the actual point. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook it onto the bottom over here. Take our lighter and just lightly melt the plastic. That's all you want to do. Pull tight, give it a couple of seconds to set. And you'll see that it's actually melted the plastic. Now that knot can't come undone. <laughs> Secondly, I'm going to take the 25 pound Maxima line. What we're now going to do is figure of eight. So with the nylon, we're going to go three times around. One, two, three times around. Put the line through and we open it up. There's the figure of eight forming. Pull it reasonably tight, there it's clinched on nicely there. We do exactly the same on the opposite side, which is the wire side now, and we're only going to go around twice. Once, twice. Take it through. Lubricate. Use our pliers, grab the hook. Now form our figure of eight. We're going to slide the nylon down before pulling tight. So we take a nylon and we just slide it down. And now we're going to start pulling the knot tight.
And there it is. Cut off both tag ends. And there is the knot with the hook already tied on. We're going to give ourselves about a meter to play with here. So we just measure one meter, cut it off. We take our um, solid ring. Yeah. I'm going to use the bigger solid ring. You can use a little bit smaller if you want, it doesn't make a difference. Once, twice, three times, through and open up. Okay, lubricate, pull the knot tight, and then we just slide it down to the actual split ring. Now to make sure it's tight, the easiest way of doing it is to just put this, the solid ring onto it. Give it a good pull. So everything seats properly. So you see that knot is now seated nicely. So we're on this part of it now. Now, again, where's my nylon? There's my nylon. I'm going to give myself another meter and a half, literally. Cut that off. Tie that onto the other side of the split ring. And again, very simple. One, two, three times around. Go back through. Slide down. Pull tight. Snap that piece off. We're now onto our knot stopper. It's a very dull colored bead. Like I say, you can use a clear one or this green one. It's a nice, soft, spongy kind of a bead. Slide it all the way down to where the knot is. And if you lubricate him nicely, you will actually sit perfectly on that actual knot. Grab our other one. Take it, send it through, and this is the one that we're going to attach our sinker to. Slide him down to the bottom over there. Now, as you can see, what happens is this little one, which is going to be uh, attached to our sinker, is actually going to get to that knot there, but it's actually not going to touch the metal ring in any way. So it actually prevents it from uh, touching. Then get another one of the big sleeves. Where are they? Uh, Big split, big solid rings. And that goes on the top. You can use a big swivel if you want, doesn't really make a difference. Lubricate and slide down. Slip off the end. Then what we want is a sinker clip. Basically, it's these little clips here. I've cut it in half to form a little hook, as you can see, and it's still got the R. So now what we do is we take that, slide it on the top, slide it on the top, bend it back to where it was, and just give it a bit of a crimping, just to keep it in place. Here we go. Okay. Give yourself about 50 centimeters of nylon. So it's going to be about that long at the end of the day. This is going to be attached to your sinker. And I'll show you why you keep it quite short, your sinker uh, snooting. Okay, 
now sink a clip. Basically there's one already on the sinker so I'm just going to use that one. Again just attach it, just makes life quicker and easier. Hold tight. What we're going to do is Okay, clip we just open a little bit. I'm just gonna trim it down. It's a little bit long for what I like. Okay. Now, what happens is your leader will attach to the top part. There's this the little clip that we're gonna attach to the actual ring. Let's just spread everything out here. That is now going to attach to that over there. My fork is now going to attach to that over there. Okay, so I'm just going to stand up quickly and show you the length of this. It looks like a big chumors, but let me tell you now. Okay, that's the entire length of your actual physical trace. But what happens is now, is when I drop it, sinker hits the ground, whoops, that comes off, that comes off, and your trace will now float up here. See how high up your trace is now floating, guys? And it's a big thing for your uh, hammerheads. They feed high in the water column, on the surface and just below. So now the whole trace literally is about two and a half meters long. This is sitting up here so the hammers can actually get to it. Use a lot of flotation on your bait and your leaders over here. So now what happens is you can actually pull it if you want to pull it down a bit, it will pull down as you're pulling your actual thing. So what happens is this trace will be sitting going like this and then obviously if you want to let it go up a bit, just give it a slack line, it goes right up. Okay, so you can actually move it backwards and forwards. So you can pull your squid or your chocker down and then let it float back up. Pull the chocker down, let it float back up. And that's basically what this whole trace looks like. Now that's your scalloped hammer. If you're using it for bigger hammers, those 60 kilo plus hammers, circle look. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that trace now. It's the same principle, everything's exactly the same. The only difference that we do in that one is actually put a circle hook on. I'm going to show you how to do that next.